I'm Shose Kesi. I'm a senior lecturer in the Department of Psychology at the University of Cape Town. And my work revolves around race, um, community empowerment. Um, I'm particularly interested in participatory action research methods, and I use a, um, a tool called PhotoVoice in most of my research projects. I also teach um, social psychology, political psychology, critical psychology, um, and at the moment I'm, I'm Deputy Dean of Transformation for the Humanities Faculty. I think the hub is about thinking about what psychology can offer in terms of promoting social justice, social change, and transformation uh, in, in South Africa, in the continent, and, and globally. And, um, you know, we, we know as psychologists about the, the, the history of our discipline and its dubious history um, in this country in particular, but all over the colonial world. Uh, and so it's about retrieving you know what is what is good and what is useful relevant important about psychology because it is about the understanding of of human life um whilst also bringing it into a contemporary context and and acknowledging bring it into a contemporary but also historical context The work that I do is about it's 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 at the same time a critique of psychology as a discipline but also a critique of society. So if we are going to come to terms with our colonial past, um we need to be able to critique uh global forms of oppression. So um using psychology to in interrogate patriarchy, using psychology to interrogate capitalism or capitalist racism, uh, using psychology to interrogate issues of gender and sexuality, um, because those are all um, part of you know, our everyday life, um, questions of identity and belonging, um, are very significant in in a post colonial context um, and i and I think if we if we think about the hub in the context of the past few years of of protests and questioning um, transformation in higher education that it's it 's a way of of locating ourselves in an academic context in a disciplinary context, in a way that can contribute to, to this change. Okay, I, well, my work, which is mostly participatory action research work, it's really about community development, community empowerment, um, collective consciousness, social mobilization, and all of those things, what, what it means is that is is about working with communities to facilitate a process where they can um, be, locate themselves in their environment, become conscious of things that of the challenges and the root cause of the challenges, often historical causes of challenges, uh, and also the kind of institutional frameworks that keep them in a particular. Um, environment which might be uh, about lack of resources and, and those kinds of things. Um, so working with, with those communities, uh, facilitating a process of change, which is a bottom-up change, so rooted within the, the groups that um, I work with. Um, and I think, importantly, making the link between academia and real life, everyday life. Uh, how do we, we move away from this idea that you know, universities are out there 
uh, for the privileged and what what the knowledge that we produce how does it have any impact on on ordinary everyday life of people